Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today we are doing an Instant Pot recipe, Instant Pot Scalloped Potatoes. So the first thing we want to do is we need two pounds of potatoes, which uh, this is about six potatoes, uh, medium sized. We're going to slice them a quarter inch thick. So I'm just going to use my mandolin slicer here. If you don't have a slicer like this, you can just do it by hand. This just definitely makes it easier. Okay, so we're going to put these potatoes in the bottom of an Instant Pot. We have about six ounces of ham that I have diced up here. Just going to put that on top of the potatoes. I didn't actually measure it. I think it's about right. A half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. Then a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Now I think it would also be really good if you just put like some chopped onions in there instead. And a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. that we're also at, um, going to add some thyme some this is some fresh thyme leaves I actually have some fresh thyme if you don't have fresh thyme you could just add some dried thyme a little bit I'm just gonna add a little bit of thyme leaves here Then we're gonna add one cup of chicken broth. So I'm just using the better than bouillon here and putting it in one cup of water. If you have any broth or bouillon, actually you could use um, vegetable too if you wanted. I just really like the chicken. Go ahead and put that over. Push, um, pour that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. I'm going to set this for one minute. Yes, one minute on high pressure. So. So one minute on high pressure, and as soon as it's done, we're going to quick release it. All right, so it's going off here. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna do a quick release on this one, so. Okay, now we're gonna remove that lid from the Instant Pot. I'm going to use a slotted spoon and just dip those potatoes and the ham out into an 8 by 8 square dish. You want to leave the liquid in there. Okay, have all the potatoes and ham out, left the liquid in the Instant Pot. Now I'm gonna turn the Instant Pot on to saute. Gonna add one cup of, this is actually Monterey Jack cheese. You can use Cheddar Jack, you can use whatever kind of cheese actually you wanna use. So we're one and a half cups 
of that. A quarter cup of, this is half and half. You can add either half and half or whole cream. And a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Stir that together and it should come to a boil. I'm just gonna stir it until the cheese is melted and it's all bubbly. Okay, this is all melted and creamy now. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna turn on our broiler. Make sure, make sure if you're using your oven, you move your top rack up to about six to eight inches. We're gonna go ahead and turn on oven to boil. Okay. I'm actually going to take this out. Just going to pour this over the top. it around where it's all covers the top. Then we have an additional one cup of cheese that we're going to sprinkle over the top there. This actually has cheddar. It's a, it's a mixture of the cheddar and Monterey Jack. So sprinkle it over the top. Spread it all out. We're going to put it in the oven under on broil for three to five minutes, probably about five minutes, but you need to watch it really carefully because you don't want it to get too um, dark on the top. You just want it to be bubbly and all the cheese melted and kind of browns to where it's really, really yummy looking. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the, under the broiler. All right, so it's only been in here for a few minutes, but these, this is definitely done. See how it's all toasted and brown and bubbly. It is ready to serve. So very easy, pretty quick um, scallop potatoes.